What's going on guys, Finizzi Breezy here with the final installment of Dragon Ball Z on Blu-ray. I'm sure you guys are so happy to finally be done with watching my videos involving Dragon Ball Z. With the Earth finally at peace, Goku, the savior of the planet, takes his leave to await the day when he is needed once again. So I'm sure for those of you who have been picking up all these releases, you guys are finally happy to stop spending $25 every other month or whatever it was that the releases were. Uh, personally, for me, I thought that this was a, a great uh, series to pick up just for the fact that it was released in a full year. All nine box sets were released in a full year. If you remember back to my very first Dragon Ball Z uh, Blu-ray unboxing video, I put it up, I think it was a few days before Christmas or right uh, a few days after Christmas. So it's been a full year that they released all nine box sets, and that's pretty much you know more than one every two months. So it was really something to see that they actually stuck to this release and let everybody pick them up before discontinuing them. So let's jump right into the unboxing, and then after that, I'll give you guys a little bit of my thoughts. Uh, if you guys want to stick around for my new portion of uh, review slash uninformed opinion slash no one asked me to talk about anything, but I'm going to do it anyway. But you can stick around for that right after the unboxing. So here we go with the final release of Dragon Ball Z on Blu-ray Season 9. And you know, I never talked about this, but they probably shouldn't have labeled them as Season 9. They probably just should have said Set 9, because realistically, there's only about... I think four or five seasons in Dragon Ball Z. Well, here's the cover. We've got Goku and Boo and Hercule. And if you notice, they slapped this sticker on here, which I have not taken off yet because I wanted to show you guys, but I hate when they do this. But it includes a Dragon Ball Z TCG personality card, and I'm assuming it's going to be Piccolo. And I'm not saying that because Piccolo's in the sticker, but because I already took a look at the card. So here we have that side. And as you can see, they finally filled out all the check boxes. And this is episodes 254 to 291. And here we have the back. And the same as always, regions A and B. And what's nice about this release, really, since it's the last one, look at these extras. You got Inside Dragon Ball Z interview with Josh Martin, Chris Rager, or Rager, however he likes to pronounce it. From East to West, Dragon Ball Z Epic Journey, a completely serious discussion about the comedy of Dragon Ball Z, and your usual Funimation inserts but i have to say that's a very nice uh list of extras to take a look at especially for the final release and so here we have the discs and here we have your all amazing piccolo trading card which i don't I, I know nothing about dragon ball z trading cards i know nothing about how to play dragon ball z but you know what this is going to go nice and sit right there and be here forever uh so as you can see the first four discs have the extra uh, the episodes and the final fifth disc will have your extras and the discs themselves have been consistent throughout the release. So that is going to do it for the final installment of Dragon Ball Z on Blu-ray. If you just wanted to watch the unboxing, then uh, I have to say thank you very much for checking the unboxing out. As always, I appreciate uh, any views that I get. But if you want to stick around for my new segment, which is right after this, then do it. So, thanks for sticking around after the unboxing for a new segment I like to call Nobody Asked For My Opinion. So, for any of my longtime subscribers, you guys will remember that when the first release uh, on Blu-ray came out, that I did an unboxing for it, and then sort of a review slash rant of it, where I pretty much just gave my opinion on the whole release, and I figured that being this, uh, this is the last release for the series, that I would also give a little bit of a, a rant and uh, opinion on the release itself as a whole. So my opinion on the release as a whole is that it is a great chance for fans of Dragon Ball Z and viewers of Dragon Ball Z to get their hands on a copy if they have never purchased one before. Uh, for those fans who never picked up the, the orange boxes or any of the other Dragon Ball Z releases, then, then this gave them a really uh, cheap, you know, affordable way to pick up the entire series on Blu-ray, which at the moment is the best, you know, format for viewing uh for viewing movies and TV shows. So I think that this was a great choice by Funimation to, to give fans a way to pick the show up. Now I think that they also had a sort of you know ulterior motive in releasing these because if you remember when the orange boxes were released, very, very shortly after that they started releasing the dragon boxes, which was a higher quality, more collectible a release for fans and you know if I had known that they were going to do that then I probably would have waited and probably bought the dragon boxes and then in turn not have purchased these blu-rays but I think that they're going to do something similar with the blu-rays 
uh, just based upon what they did with the orange boxes. And I think the determining factor that they were going to use to release Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray Dragon Boxes was the sales of these Blu-rays. You know, if they sold well and they saw that there was an interest in owning the series on Blu-ray, then they would release a higher quality release for, you know, stronger fans of the show to pick up to spend a little bit more money on a more collectible piece. For me personally, you know, I love Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is one of the anime that got me into anime, and I'm sure just for many of you also, it got you into anime. But I don't love Dragon Ball Z enough to buy the most expensive collector's edition. You know, these releases were about 25 bucks a piece around there. That's extremely affordable, and to get the entire series on Blu-ray, which is the best quality that you're going to get out of it, uh, it was worth it for me. Um, holding out to buy... Uh, Dragon Box Blu-ray, not really worth it because it's probably going to be a bit more pricey. So I think if you're a fan of the show and you really want to own it, then this is probably your best option. Uh, you know, if you're a hardcore fan of the show and you haven't decided to pick these up yet, but you're on the fence, I'd say hold off. You know, hold off a few months, maybe a year, to see what their plan is to release Dragon Ball Z because if they don't decide to release it, which I think that they are going to, you'll still be able to pick these up, and you'll be able to pick them up pretty cheap at that point. Uh, if they retail at 25 when they first came out, they're only going to drop. There's no way that, you know, you're not going to be able to find Season 6. So season 6 is going to be 35 40 bucks on eBay. I highly doubt that. I think that these were so massively produced that you're going to have no issue picking them up. Also, if you're kind of the kind of person that likes conformity, then I would also recommend picking up this release. You know, if you notice, they all look really nice next to each other on the shelf. The li all the lines match up, all the numbers match up. There's not one that's a little bit off. Like I have, I have a few releases like that where, for some reason, maybe a different distributor or manufacturer made the release, and something is a little notch up, and that would bother a lot of viewers. It bothers me to some degree, but the lines on this all match up, and it's it's a very nice release. So. If you're looking to pick it up for cheap, then I think that this is probably your best option, and even your best option to date. On the flip side, if you are one of the viewers, or like myself even, that purchased all the orange boxes, then you know this might not really be a good idea for you if, if you're satisfied with it and you know there's no reason to own it if you already do. Uh, for me, I just wanted it on Blu-ray. I'm probably going to sell these orange boxes. I, I have a buddy of mine who really enjoys Dragon Ball Z, and he never picked them up, and he's interested in them. So then I, that, that's most likely what I will do. But if you're satisfied with owning one version of the series, then you don't need to buy this. So that's going to bring an end to the new segment that I like to call Nobody Asked For My Opinion. I'd like to thank you all for watching and sticking it out over a year with me uh, unboxing all these Dragon Ball Z releases. You're not going to see any more, I promise you that. And if you were one of the viewers who saw my uh, very first Dragon Ball Z video and subscribed to my channel, I would really like to say that I appreciate the, uh, the subscribe and that you've stuck with me all this time. And to this date, that video is one of the most popular that I ever put out. And I'm very thankful for the fact that it performed so well and that I gained so many subscribers from it. That was pretty much the reason why I wanted to sit, take a sit down with the releases and do one more final thought recap because I know that a lot of you enjoyed that video and I just wanted to give a little bit back to you guys even though my opinion is pretty much worthless. But as always guys, thanks for watching. I'm Finesi Breezy and I'll see you all next time.